here we are again out at Karen Creek so many crazy things are going on right now um, I don't know what we make heads or tails of how it's going or what's going to happen I think everything's gonna be just fine um, I know today we've changed the things a little bit but we still have company out at Karen Creek we're still doing for the most part more normal stuff um, that we always do I came back here in the woods I wanted to do this intro in a more peaceful and serene environment kind of uh, for those of you who watched for a while um, you've seen the different things that we'd like to do out here at our property and for the new people thanks for watching and we just have a property here to where we're always working on something different uh, we try to showcase some fun that we have and then also some work we're not like an instructional instructional channel um, although you will learn some things if you watch today there's several people up at the mill shop uh, Colby our main editor is having an airsoft war today on the property they are getting uh, geared up and dressed to go out into the woods to start their adventures tonight it's supposed to be 26 degrees and then boys still say they're going to camp in the in tents in the woods so It'll be interesting to see how that goes. So I'm, I'm glad to see everybody's still having fun, at least the boys are. I know this week they gave one of my other boys a chance to work with us on jobs and helped us out a bunch and get a little money in his pocket. So today we're just going to do some normal things around here. I think uh, I've got a little sign that we painted last night. We're going to put it up. Uh, our dryer is jacking up. We have a, a dryer that's only like three years old and the way it's positioned now we need to cut an access port on the back side we might do that I'm working on some bar stools um, making some ash cutting some ash down and hopefully get some action of the bar stool build later today and maybe start a, a brush fire have some stumps to move around so nothing crazy but I you know I try to showcase some things that most people would definitely have the ability to do but maybe they just don't do it they don't have the means or they just don't have a reason to do some of the stuff and I think that's where we can stand apart or stand out to where it's interesting to watch some of the stuff that we do I was surprised a few videos ago we had the getting the camper out I had a lot of feedback on the camper uh, video people just talking about their campers had a lot of questions about campers and it truly is almost camping season and uh, hopefully everybody gets their campers out or I know a lot of people are, are talking about buying campers this is a big time for, for camper purchases so. and then uh, the most recent video was about the March Madness in the mill shop with the wood miser those blades uh, changing those blades and getting the fastest cut and whatnot but I mean no, I did want to touch and I forgot to do it on the last video but I hope you enjoy watching me sawmill but if you're actually watching because you saw this on a sawmill group to really learn about sawing lumber you need to go to out of the woods it's nathan elliott uh i think he's down around tennessee but he's got a, a, a big channel he's got a wood miser so he actually knows this stuff and he's really really educational to watch um and i also wanted to touch on one more thing before we get started um, a little more, bit more about me i know we're always out here at karen creek and kind of showcasing what we do out here but uh, i wanted to ask a question and i think it's a feasible question so during the week, we have an excavation company. We do a concrete. Um, I wonder if it'd be interesting for you guys to see some of the stuff we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, also, I own a storage unit, a storage facility where there's, um, I think there's like 97 or 98 storage units at this complex. I own that. So there's definitely some interesting things that goes on over there sometimes. Would you like to see something about that? Um, I have a billboard um, you know the big billboards you see along the highways we have one of those which uh, it's not very interesting not much goes on with the billboard business but uh, it's definitely something different we have rentals we have several rental houses and for the most part they stay uh, pretty self-maintained but if you'd like to see something about those I'm I'm more than willing to to pack up and, and show a different video every once in a while of some of the other things that that's going on uh, I think the last thing is like an outdoor maintenance company we have where 
my dad actually runs a sweeper truck. We've got a mechanical sweeper truck that runs around and sweeps parking lots. So we do maintenance for some of the malls in Chilcothy as far as snow removal, uh, landscaping, sweepings, and some interior maintenance, changing light bulbs. And uh, we deal with a lot of tenants, but right now they're actually kind of slowing down with what's going on. But I think that's uh, about all the other ventures that I have going on. But let me know give me some feedback if you think it'd be cool to jump out and see some of the different things that that i do maybe uh maybe we'd be worth getting some footage and, and making a video here or there um man you hear that creek i hope you can i'm sure you can it's beautiful not the best of days as far as weather wise but it's not raining so that's good and uh very very peaceful here at Karen Creek so come on let's go get something done All right, the Karen Creek SEAL Team 6. They're heading out. It's right there. It's right there. Colby. It's right there. It's right there. Karen Creek quarantine. All right, so the first project was done putting that sign up. That went well. Second project, I um, want to make some bar stools. So I have these ash boards. These were ashed in, uh, I believe, about six months ago. I cut them down and I used them for shelves. I planed them down. This one's actually cupped already. But I think these can be our, our seat tops. So we can cut these up, round them off a little bit, and then uh, we'll use white oak for the legs. Yeah. So let's jump into that real quick. All right, so we got this this ash piece cut down. I think what's a fair size for a, a bench top, or excuse me, a bar seat top. This was one I had in one of my other shops that I stole and brought out. Just kind of uses a template, so it'll help me determine how long the legs need to be and the angles. It'll it'll help me cheat quite a bit. So we're gonna make six up. So we got all six cut, and now we're gonna trim. This is white oak. We're gonna rip these down into one and a half inch pieces, strips, and that'll be our legs. Okay. Used to wake the morning before the rooster crow. Searching for soda bottles to get myself some dough. Brought them down to the corner down to the country store cash him in and give my money to a man named curtis low oh kurt was a black man with white curly hair when he had a fifth of wine he did not have a care used to own an old dobro used to plan across his knee 
I'd give old Kurt my money and he'd play all day for me. Play me a song, Curtis Lowe, Curtis Lowe. A couple things I've realized. I'm making a jig right now for these bar stools. Oh, look on TV. Everybody remembers this. 1992, Christian Leitner makes it. <laughs> it's a replay on ESPN, but that's uh, all the bad things that happened in your life. You remember where you were at. That's one of those good things that happened for me anyways. And I remember exactly where I was at that night. All right, back to the project. That might get me uh, booted off YouTube. I don't know. But yeah, I'm making a jig. One of the big things I did learn so far is the bar stools could have had their own video. Um, I've got wide oak legs cut. I planed them down. They're all the size. I got my braces. So now I'm building a jig to pretty much hold to make it easier to assemble it because I'm making six. So I'll get this jig all laid out and it'll help me expedite the process a little bit, um, make it a little bit easier. But yeah, this could have been a whole video on making bar stools. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to everything. I don't think today, but uh, I'm excited to uh, get these bar stools done and maybe have a beer on them here this evening. All right. Yeah, let me tell you, folks. This is uh, going to wrap up the projects for the day because these bar stools are a pain in the butt. Ain't that right, Chrissy? Yes. They are. I don't even know. Huh? I said I don't even know. Yep. Yeah. It's just taking forever yeah. to get to this point. But I watch, uh, you guys watch one going together. In case anybody's wanting to build one at home. Well, I got your drinking money. Tune up your dough, bro. Ever play the blues He looked to be sixty Maybe I was ten Mama used to whoop me But I'd go see him again Clap my hands, stomp my feet Try to stay in time song or two and then you take another drink of wine play me a song Curtis Lowe Curtis Lowe I got your drinking money chewed up your don't blow people said it was useless them people all the fools cause Curtis Lowe was the finest picker to ever the blues Yes sir Curtis 
finest, you're the finest picker to ever play the blues. Everybody else is out riding horses and boilers, and here I am in a dryer. This is a brand new dryer. The guy came out to fix it, and very cold, and Kim didn't answer. So with the big quarantine stuff, they're saying like another month they can come out to fix it. So old JSF's going in the dryer repair business. Come on. In case you ever wondered what it looks like inside a dryer. Something about a moisture sensor? I don't know. Some bitch never gonna work again, ever. By the time I get done with it. I think that's going to wrap this unit up for this video. Um, I had some pretty solid questions, I think, at the beginning of it. I think I'd appreciate some feedback on that. See if you guys want to go mobile with me and see some of the other things we do during the week. I know right now a lot of people's off work and uh, maybe bring some interest to some other things that goes on and just change it up a little bit. If not, it's no big deal. We'll keep rocking out here. There's always going to be tons of projects to do. Um, I want to touch on the bar stools. If somebody says, hey, let's build some bar stools, no, nah, don't do it. The bar stool project was way more than I expected. That could have been its own episode completely building the bar stools. I know we kind of rushed through some of the footage on it, but I mean, it's neat. It was white oak legs, the ash top. They're built pretty strong, so they're going to last forever. So that's, it's something that's going to just always be cool that we built with wood from the property here. Um, but yeah. Don't don't build a bar stool. Don't build one. Don't build six. Go to well, if you're choke off, they get go furniture and buy some. So, uh, all right, let's uh, wrap it up. And, and next time, we'll get into something else out here. And be sure to subscribe. I like our uh, our video. Subscribe to our page and uh, share it with your friends. Copy and paste it through text message, email. Share it on Facebook or other social media sites and. Uh, Keep this baby rolling. Come on. See ya. Play me a song, Curtis Moe, Curtis Moe. Well, I got your drinking money. Tune up your dough.